All right, guys, today we're going to talk about why preppers need to stockpile cash. In the scenario where there's some sort of emergency announced on the news and you realize that you forgot to stock up on something, you can use cash to make that purchase. It could be extra food, medicine, water bottles, anything like that. You also need cash because a banking or financial crisis can lead to limited access to banks. If everyone is doing bank runs, then the bank won't be able to give everyone their cash because they simply don't store enough of it. You would think that everyone should be able to get the exact same amount of cash that they put into the bank, but that's not the case at all. So in the scenario that we're talking about, the bank will either run out of cash or just close down all their locations to avoid the hordes of angry people. So keep a decent amount of cash set aside for situations like that. We also have to think about a scenario where it's not directly the fault of the bank or economic issues. Say there's a large scale power outage or a cyber attack where we can't access our banks or use electronic payment methods. You still want to be able to purchase things and you'll obviously need cash for that. Even while times are okay right now, I believe that no one needs to know what you're buying. With electronic payment methods and credit and debit cards, everything is being tracked and recorded. With cash, you can make purchases anonymously without it going on any record. Think of a scenario where it's a major long-term emergency or martial law and your country, government, or military is in need of food and supplies. They may or may not have noted your name and address down because they see credit card purchases on record of you buying hundreds of pounds of canned food and rice and beans and different things like that over the last year. So if that's a concern for you, which it should be, make all your current purchases in cash because they really have no business knowing what and how much you buy. I would even try and buy things directly from the farmer in cash. There's always signs up on rural roads where you see things like eggs for sale, beef, honey, milk, and different things like that. Okay, so the next thing you need to know is don't stock up on only 50s and 100s, stock up on smaller notes as well. Because someone could have something that you desperately need and it's like $15, but all you have is a $100 bill and they could easily say they have no change. If you really need it and it's an emergency, you might have no choice, but it's a huge waste of money. Now keep in mind, this isn't just going to be a thing where you go to your bank and withdraw thousands of dollars at once. This is going to be slowly done over a long period of time. A small amount of cash every week is a good idea because just taking out thousands of dollars at once can give red flags on their end. So maybe 50 or or $100 a week or whatever you're comfortable with. If I'm in a situation where I think things are getting really bad and there's a high chance that it'll become a long-term collapse scenario, I'm going to try to spend all my cash as soon as possible. I'm going to buy as much food and supplies as I can get. You have to understand that cash will have no practical use in a long-term apocalyptic scenario because it's not survival gear and you can't eat it. I guess you can burn it, but that's pretty much it. There are still going to be those people during the collapse who are selling their stuff for cash, hoping that things will get better, but who knows when that day will come. Now, how much cash should you stockpile? This will change from person to person, but the simple answer is as much as you can comfortably keep. For the average person, it might be two to $500. Some people will want to keep much more than that. It just depends on your situation. So anywhere from two to $500 or even up to $1,000 is a good amount. If you really want to take it to the next level, you can take some cash and put it in an emergency supply stash and bury it far away from your home as a good backup. With the supply stash, make sure you're 100% sure you know exactly where you put it or mark it on a GPS or a map. You also need some type of physical mark at the location where you buried it. So it could be a half buried can, it could be a broken stick, anything. I also like to keep some emergency cash on me for everyday use as well. It could even be for something simple like I go to a store and I really need something but their debit machine isn't working and they're only accepting cash that day. Now a couple weeks ago I was taking my sister to Toys R Us and their debit machines were down and they were only accepting cash. Now if I didn't have cash on me that would have been a major headache for me. And another thing, I was watching an interview with a CIA agent and he was saying that he always keeps 100 US dollars on him. He said it doesn't matter where he is, it could be US or it could be another country. Basically, if he loses his phone or he's lost somewhere, that cash could get him where he needs to go, possibly get him to safety. He could use the money for a taxi or just pay someone, some random person with a car to get him where he needs to go. Maybe he could use that $100 to pay off an officer in a third world country. He said he's used those $100 to get him across rivers and across national borders in Southeast Asia. As you can imagine, 100 US dollars holds a lot of value in third world countries. That could be two weeks worth of wages in some countries. Okay, so those are all the reasons why I think preppers should stockpile cash and have it on them as well. What are some other reasons that a prepper should stockpile cash? Let me know. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and follow.